The exhibition comprises a series of seven works. Um, they're paintings on canvas and timber. So there's a sculptural element to the paintings, which is uh, a framing element that I've developed and had constructed and then painted. The, the process of making the work start with a, a, an idea and I consider the idea for some time. And in, in this case, it's all based on the seven rays and um, each of the paintings is you know, numbered uh, as part of the seven rays. Before I start making the work, I have a fully formed image, um, which is not just a visual, but an emotive image of how the work will be when it's finished. And that's the guide that I use to um, create and build that work um, from finding the right uh, mouldings for the frames and whether the items will have glazing or um, you know, reflective glass or museum glass or gold leaf or what colours. Um, the process of um, binding the materials in a medium that has marble dust in it is something that I've been using for um, a long time and, it's a, and it sort of creates a really matte effect to the surface of the work, but um, with the marble being in there, um, it causes uh, the light that sort of hits the surface to be absorbed and as well as reflecting, it sort of um, creates a glowing effect which you can't capture on um, a camera. You can't capture that in reproduction. It's, it's something that you have to stand in front of to really sort of understand that effect. Yeah. Well, I couldn't explain it very much, but the Seven Rays is a uh, esoteric philosophy uh, that's been written a lot by um, people like Alice Bailey and uh, Madame Blavatsky, who founded the Theosophical Society. Um, a number of other people have written about it over the years, and uh, a lot of artists have been uh, influenced by this sort of secret um, information. Um, it's becoming sort of more open as more people write about it. Uh, but it's a topic I've been exploring for the last couple of years and one that uh, my works have been about and what I've exhibited um, the last few shows this year. Um, it's uh, something that I'm just finding interesting and exploring and trying to understand and comprehend uh, as a concept and um, a lot of what I uh, understand from what I've read so far and explored so far I put into the works. I think a lot of it is still quite secretive and there'll be people that have done it through the ages and I mean one example is um, Van Eck uh, has a representation of the seven rays, but it's in relation to something else. And um, it's the Annunciation, the picture of the Annunciation. And um, there's seven rays coming through the clerestory window in the painting. Um, and then there's the angel with these brightly coloured rainbow wings sort of talking to Mary. So it's it's sort of represented in that and it's been represented in numerous other um, imagery as well. But um, the secret's not really that secretive. It's, you know, to me, it's, that ex it's the experience. There's um, an intelligence that's emotive that um, the seven rays are about, which is a, a, a just another level of communication. I feel like I'm presenting the show and talking. I often find that t talking about the works negates any of the work that I've put into the works. Because it's about that, isn't it? Because the actual thing is to experience the work and um, reproducing the work in an image. 
sort of reduces a lot of the uh, experience and it just gives you a visual of what was there, but um, that interaction that occurs between the viewer and the object is lost in that reproduction. Um, the, the work is my intention and what I like to think I'm achieving is um, creating a, a, an emotive response in the viewer and you know, that rather than just a nonchalance or something sort of more uh, I think that we're just not listening sometimes that that is it's not as loud or in the language that we're used to communicating in. Mm. Um, yeah, there's um, an, uh, one interesting thing that I am exploring as part of the Seven Rays is um, the sort of different levels of uh, communication, you know, um, and then sort of looking back at previous forms of communication through the ages and things that we are probably very unconscious of that just happen in any regards. It's, it's a lot of things that I'll never get into one painting, but um, it sort of explores all of those. It's another world sort of stuff. What is it about this kind of ungraspable, the thing which cannot be communicated about, you know, text or, or voice or like linguistics and image making that you like? Or is that just, it just this happens to be the situation and you're working in it? I think it happens to be the situation I'm working in and the um, exploring, you know, esoteric subject matter has been something that I've done for many years in my work and a lot of those things, though there's many books written about them and multiple sort of um, programs, um, I still think there's things that are not able to be communicated through um, the written or the spoken language and um, the, 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 mo the emotion and the emotive language that's a, an intelligence that um, is not always um, explored or um, given the due that um, it's, it needs.